An agricultural invention that revolutionized the harvesting of corn was commemorated by ASABE's 36th historic landmark, shielded snapping rolls. Corn was first harvested by hand. This limited the amount of corn one farmer could produce. The invention of shielded snapping rolls made machine corn harvest possible and thus changed corn production forever. In 1885, E.M. Aiken of Dawson, Dakota Territory, patented snapping rolls shielded with flat plates above the rolls. By 1925, corn pickers that were mechanically driven from the tractor power takeoff came into use with unshielded open rolls. While faster, they proved to be dangerous as farmers often needed to clear stalks from the rolls. A more aggressive shielded snapping device that was shielded to provide more safety was patented by C.K. Shedd and E.V. Collins, Ames, Iowa, in 1941. It was later used on sweet corn. After 1945, the drying of high-moisture corn became economic and proved to be a key to the development of field shelling for corn. Following work on shelling corn with a combine cylinder by G.E. Pickard and D.F. Hopkins, Urbana, Illinois, in 1952, C. Morrison, Deer & Company, Moline, Illinois, successfully harvested corn with a self-propelled combine and a corn head with shielded snapping roll units. Beginning in 1955, John Deere commercially sold corn heads for combines with shielded snapping rolls produced at Ankeny, Iowa. By 1965, corn acreage harvested by combines exceeded that harvested by corn pickers. In 1966, 26,000 corn heads were sold. Today, corn harvest is dominated by combines using heads with shielded snapping rolls, which have proven to be efficient and safe. This ASABE historic landmark commemorates inventions and people who have had an important and significant impact on the industry of agriculture and on the engineering profession. This plaque is on display at the Deer & Company, Des Moines Works in Ankeny, Iowa.